Hey, this is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. And uh, I'm excited to go over this brand new 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport S package uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, we did a two inch Mopar lift to it. We also put 20 inch fuel Maverick rims and Pro Comp Extreme MT2 37 by 12 and a half R20 LT tires on this vehicle. She rides amazing. We actually did a video where we drove one of these down the road. It's in the upper right hand part of your screen if you want to check that out. But uh, these ride just fantastic with the lift on them. And uh, the other reason is that this Sport S is pretty loaded up. It's got cold weather group. It's got the max tow group. So you're going to get the Dana front and rear heavy duty 44 um, axles. And uh, you're also going to get, of course, the receiver hitch and all the uh, upfitter switches and everything. So really nicely optioned out vehicle. And if you want to see all the photos of this Jeep in the upper right hand part of your screen, click that and check it out there. It's a link to our website. You can see they got a really aggressive tread. Those Maverick rims look really good. And there's that Jeep. It has the Fox shocks on here. And then the two inch lift get the blacked out Jeep and Gladiator lettering, the silver and black trail rated badge, get some really good looking Gladiator decals on the hood there. This one being the Sport S is going to give you that plastic black front bumper. You've got the tow hooks there, fog lights, running lights and the fenders. And then you get the little Jeep logo on your headlights there. Of course the seven slotted grille. Now I'm going to take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not going to go over everything on here just because it would take forever. But I'm going to go over the main points, especially the uh, Sport S package or the 24S package is a $3,200 option. Basically that's going to give you all the power windows, power locks, power heated mirrors, the deep tint sunscreen, auto uh, headlamps there as well. You get the convenience group, which gives you the home link buttons for your garage door, security systems and lighting systems, that's $395. The cold weather group, which gives you heated seats, heated steering wheel and remote start. The max tow package, which gives you the 410 gears, um, is a $995 option, but you get that heavy duty Dana 44 wide front and rear axle, the 410 gears, the receiver hitch, the trailer hitch zoom, which is a really neat, neat feature, which I'll show you in just a minute here. And then you get heavy duty engine cooling and a 240 amp alternator. You get the Jeep Active Safety Group, which gives you blind spot and cross path detection, the backup parking system, and then the LED tail lamps, which are really nice. It's, that's a $995 option. The Auxiliary Switch Group, which is a $295 option, which gives you um, the four buttons for upfitting on there. You get the Bright Door Sills by Mopar, which is $195. And as long as I'm right here, I'll show you those. They say Gladiator on them. They, they're really shiny, look really good. In fact, the first thing I stepped into this Jeep, what I noticed was that um, you get the cargo management system in the bed and the 115 volt outlet back there, lockable rear under seat storage bin and a 400 watt inverter. And that is an $895 option. You get the all weather slush, slush mats, which are topographical, which are pretty cool, I think. And you get the 8-speed automatic transmission, which is a $2,000 option, and the hard top, which is $1,195, and the Sirius XM is $295. Total MSRP on this one is $46,660. And, uh, of course, we did the lift rims and tires, so this is the addendum for that. You got the Mopar lift, the Maverick wheels, the Pro Comp tires, and that's an $8,500 um, upfit that we did to this vehicle. So we basically did the Jeep cost plus that upfit gives you a, a total price of $49,468. If you want to check everything out on our website in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to that. But enough of that, we're going to get back into it here. So four wheel disc brakes on these uh, Gladiators, you get that Fox shock back here as well. And I just wanted to show you back here, you get that Dana 44 wide axle. So I ba think basically what we did for the uh, uh, lift here is they change out this bar, they also change out the springs, and then of course you get those Fox shocks uh, back there, which uh, don't come from the factory with those Fox shocks, at least not on the Sport S package. And um, back here you'll notice you get the backup parking sensors on the rear bumper, you get the tow hook here, 
the receiver hitch, four pin, seven pin wiring. Notice you get the LED license plate lights, the LED tail lamps, the locking tailgate, and then uh, it is a shock down assist tailgate, so it's never gonna slam down on you, which I really like. You also get the cargo management system, which has the tie down cleats on it. You also get that 115 volt max 400 watt plug-in, and then the LED bed lighting back here as well. And that tailgate shuts very nice and easy. Um, it's very light. Notice you get the black fenders on there. And then the other uh, main thing on this one is you get the blind spot monitoring and heated mirrors. Inside the Sport S package is going to give you the black cloth interior. It's kind of the entry level interior. Side curtain airbags and all the gladiators. You get those all weather floor mats back here. You get that bright sill door plate there as well. Locks, power locks, power mirrors, auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheels. So this is going to go down, in, and out. You get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel as well. And we'll hop inside here. You can see that it has the digital speedometer, outside temp, compass display. And you can change those to basically whatever you want. Heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. And remember we got those audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. You get kind of this grayish silver uh, finish to the dash. Looks really good. And then this one comes with the five inch touchscreen radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Also Bluetooth capabilities. And this is also where your HD backup camera shows up. So you can see how nice and crisp and clear that is. And you turn that, and those grid lines actually turn as well. So they're dynamic. And then that center line lines right up with your receiver hitch. But watch this. You hit that button, and it zooms in right over your receiver hitch. So if you're hooking up your boat or your camper or whatever you're hauling, you can get it lined precisely up with your hitch so that you don't have to get in and out of the vehicle um, to make sure that you're all lined up, which is nice if you're by yourself. Push button, for push button start. You got your climate controls down here, your start stop capability, stability control, backup parking sensors. You can turn those off if you don't like them. And then your speed select control, uh, crawl control there. You also have your heated seats and heated steering wheel button, power windows. You get your four auxiliary upfitter switches, AUGS, USB, and USB C, the eight speed automatic transmission, four by four shifter on the floor. Get the little Gladiator logo on there. And then you do get your keyless entry with that remote start, the flipper key. It's really nice and heavy duty. It's a really good looking key. It's got a lot of weight to it. You'll always know which key is in your pocket. So these hard top pieces, they come off very similar, actually identically to the Wranglers in the front here at least. And then you do get your home link buttons up there. It has a nice crushed eggshell looking finish to it. And we'll take a quick look at the back seats. So back seats, couple things to note, it does have the latch child safety system. Those back seats do fold down. Sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. That's a manual slide, it's not power. Um, and then these headrests, they do fold down like so. Just press the button there. These backrests also come down. You do get a little bit of storage back here. And then you have your latch tether anchors. You also have all your bolts to remove that hard top piece back here as well. And then there is storage underneath these seats with lock, and that locks with the ignition key right there. And then you get a little divider here if you want it in there or not. Um, but nice little safety system. And then you got storage for all your bolts for your windshield doors and roof piece. This is your soft top piece for holding the front hard top pieces, or your soft case for holding the front hard top pieces. And latch or the child safety locks on the back door. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to our website, www.summitauto.com. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see at youtube.com slash summitauto. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. Link to more gladiators like this one on your right. If you haven't been to our website on the bottom, link to this vehicle. Thanks for checking out the video.